Okay, this is a quick tutorial about an add-on called Blender Kit, which comes default with Blender and is very useful for scene creation. I think everyone should have it installed. It's extremely useful for pretty much anything you want to do. So, delete the default cube and go up to the Edit and Preferences, go to Add-ons, and type in Blender Kit. And you'll see I already have it enabled. You'll have to go to the drop down here and sign up. Um, I think if you to upload models to it, you can earn, even earn a bit of money. So anyway, once it's enabled and you've done all that, um, you can see all the models up here. I think it automatically searches for material or something. You can see all the models up here. You just simply drag them in, it loads it up, and then the model appears with full materials and full everything. Very easy for environment creation. So, here it is, in all its glory. Um, I noticed a lot of people were making graphics cards on it, so let's get one of those in here. See, it auto automatically sticks to the floor and walls. So, here it is. See, some of these models are extremely high quality. Also, as you've probably already seen, it does materials. So, if I start a plane and put some materials on it, you'll see the materials come up. It just downloads for a while because some of these materials are quite high quality. It unpacks them and there you go. Seems a little dark right now but I'll just go to material preview so you can see. So you've got these stones here, then even if you've already applied material you can just drag another one in. And yeah, then get another one. So it also doesn't end here, there's actually you can just basically choose any HDRI, click on it, choose your download size. I'd recommend 4K or 2K for a project, but I'm just going to go for 1K here for performance because I'm just showing you. So, yep, here, here it is. This wood tech is really massive. Um, here it is, just a normal HDRI, very low res one because that's what I de decided it should be. After you've done this, you'll basically never need to watch a tutorial on this again. It's the most simple add-on ever. But yeah, very effective. But that's basically the end of the tutorial. But I really made this to apologise for a video I said I was going to release, but then didn't release due to a whole number of factors that came into play. Such as me basically not having any recording time, messing up all the times on it. I also had to re-record it like eight times, and I'm in the middle of the editing now. It should come out either tomorrow or the next day. But anyway, that'll come out soon, and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope it was useful for you, and I'll see you again, I guess, tom tomorrow, when I release another video. Um, subscribe, I'll be coming out with tutorials most days, well not most days, I, I shouldn't promise anything anymore. A few times a week, maybe even just one time a week, I'm not sure. I'm still getting used to the whole YouTube uploading thing. And so... Yeah, subscribe. More tutorials. Comment down below what tutorials you'd like to see. Various things in Blender and all that. So yeah, bye.